Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Microsoft Entra ID protection. Today, identity is the new parameter and must be prioritized for security using Zero Trust Framework. Entra ID identity protection is a machine learning based service designed to safeguard your organization's digital assets by detecting, investigating, and responding to the identity based risks. It leverages advanced machine learning and intelligence to analyze user behavior and identify potential threats. How it works? By continuous monitoring. By continuous monitoring, identity protection constantly monitors user activities, looking for anomalies and suspicious behaviors. Number two, risk detection. It identifies potential risks based on various factors such as sign-in locations, device types, and user behaviors. For this, it uses a blend of heuristics and statistics. Talking about heuristics, heuristics are used to establish the baseline user behavior patterns based on the factors like login locations, device types, access times, anomaly detection, any deviation, from the established baseline is flagged as a potential anomaly and the users are flagged at risk. For instance, a login from an unusual geographic location or a sudden spike in failed login attempts can trigger a heuristic based alert. Number two, statistics. Statistics play a crucial role in gathering and analyzing vast amount of user data that includes login attempts, authentication failures, and other relevant information. It also does pattern recognition. Statistical models identify patterns and trends in user behaviors. For instance, statistical analysis can reveal if there is an increase in phishing attacks targeting specific user groups. Risk scoring, statistical methods are used to assign risk scores to users and sign-in events. This scoring is based on various factors including the frequency of password changes, the number of compromised accounts within a group or other relevant metrics. This combined approach of heuristics and statistics plays crucial role in enhanced accuracy, adaptive learning and risk prioritization. Next is the risk assessment. The system assesses and detected the risk and assigns a risk level, be it low, medium, high, to each user or sign-in event. That is used to control the response for that particular request based on this flag. Automated response is one of the key capability of the Entra ID protection which eliminates the use of a manual response from a human being. Based on predefined policies, identity protection can automatically take actions such as blocking the access to the users or requiring the multi-factor authentication. Finally, we can do the investigation and remediation. So security teams can use detailed reports that are produced by the identity protection and insights provided by identity protection to investigate incidents and take corrective actions. If we talk about key benefits of uh, Entra ID protection, it proactively detects the threats, identifies potential threats before they escalate into breaches, reduced risk of identity theft, protect against credential theft and unauthorized access, improves the security posture of your digital assets, especially the identities, automated response, it saves the time, enhanced investigation capabilities, it provides the insightful reports for efficient threat investigation. Let's set up and see the identity protection in action. If I 
switch to the entra portal and I want to configure the entra ID identity protection. So the very first prerequisite is that I need to have the uh, premium tier of the entra ID. The premium license P2 license is required for this. It's a premium feature, remember. So be it identity protection or identity governance, many of the features belong to the premium 2 tier only. You can uh, uh, see the MS Learn documentation for the reference on comparison between the different tiers of the entra ID and uh, especially between the P1 and P2 tier. So under the protection, we see identity protection. Where from we can set it up? This identity protection can be integrated with conditional access policies and these conditional access policies can leverage the user risk and sign in risks to control the user's access to the resources. Here we have option to configure the user risk policies and then we have sign in risk policies. Suppose I want to enable the sign in risk policy. So I need to decide that to which user I want to enable it. Suppose I want to do it for all the users. Then sign in risk, low and above or medium and above or high. Like I mentioned earlier that this machine learning will flag the users at risk depending on the pattern being used by the users and the severity of that anomaly. Then I will click on done. Then I will decide that whether I want to block the access or I want to allow the access but with multi-factor authentication or maybe without uh, multi-factor authentication. So I can have different settings. Suppose for low risk, I can go with allow access. For medium and above, I can go with allow access but with MFA and then block the access for high risk. So I can decide it accordingly. In this demonstration, I'm showing you how to block this access. Then I will enforce this policy. So it will be a hard policy instead of a soft uh, policy. And then the control is blocked. We have configured and I'll save this policy. Now machine learning comes into action and it starts detecting the authentication patterns of the users. If you have set it up today, so you need to wait for a few days for this to come into action because uh, uh, over the period of time it will detect those authentication patterns and then will start working. Like it will check that what are your usual locations, usually where from you're logging in, uh, what device factors of, or the uh, you know device type or operating system platform or the application you use to connect to the uh, applications now to demonstrate this uh, and simulate a risk for identity protection I will use Tor browser which hides your identity and uh, I will try to access the uh, portal.azure.com or any cloud application which requires the authentication. So I will go with the, this portal.azure.com to do the authentication. At the authentication prompt, I will have to provide the username and the uh, password. So I will authenticate using the user, which is uh, this. And because I'm logging in from the Tor browser, so, and it is hiding my identity, so entra id identity protection will detect it as a risk because my identity is hidden so if i'm behind the anonymizer vpn uh, which is hiding my network or i'm using this tor browser which is representing its own network to the uh, entra id so it will be considered as a risk and because i have blocked the access the policy i've configured so i get the message that your sign in is uh, Blog. We set up the entra ID identity protection and it starts working with machine learning to detect any unusual authentication uh, patterns or activities and uh, will protect our identities from being tapped. And uh, in case if you want to use multiple different combinations for different risks for user risks and sign in risks, then you can configure it through conditional access policies and uh, you can. Uh, define different conditional access policies for different applications and user groups and for different sign in risks you can have different types of controls so those different combinations you can make in this uh, conditional access policy i hope this uh, tutorial was informative to you thanks for watching and uh, keep watching 
other videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel